for real. Um, what's in the, there, there are two boxes there. Uh, is that an equal sign between them? Yes. Okay. So this one's totally different than the last one. Kind of. Um, let me grab a snip here. All right. Let me uh, share my screen. So uh, first thing is when you're given two points, let me share my screen. When you're given two points, you want to find the slope. So if you recall, the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In this problem, it's negative 2 minus 3 over 6 minus 6. What does the bottom become? What is 6 minus 6? Zero. Zero. So you're not allowed to divide by zero. That's bad. These two ordered pairs have the same x value. Do you see that? Yeah. That means the equation of the line is x equals, like if we were to graph this, we would have 6, negative 2, not to scale, 6, 6, uh, 3, again, not to scale. That's a vertical line. And it says that x is always 6. x is always 6. Okay, so this one maybe kind of looks like the last one where it's like, oh, you know, it's got kind of the same numbers, but there's not the same X and not the same, same Y. All right, I'm going to share my screen here. We'll, we'll work through this one together. Um, you do want to find the slope if you can. The slope is always the first thing to find. Uh, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. This is negative four minus a minus one negative one minus four like that. Can you tell me what the top and bottom become, please? Mm. The top would be negative five. It's negative four plus one. They're, the double oh. negative becomes a positive. What about the bottom? Mm. Could it be three? Negative three on the top. On the bottom, they're both negative, so you keep the sign. You keep the sign, and then you add the numbers without the sign. So the slope is three-fifths. Is that okay? Yeah. So it would be positive? Yes, the, the double negatives cancel. Negative over negative cancels. All right. So now we've got y equals three fifths x plus b. That comes from the, the equation of the line y equals mx plus b. So this is the more traditional way to do it. And, and your goal here is to solve for b, which means you need an x and a y. Now, if you, if you look back in the problem, they, they give you two ordered pairs. They give you four, negative one, and negative one, negative four. Let's use the first ordered pair. It doesn't matter which one you use, but sometimes there's one that, that's better than another. Is that okay so far? Yeah. All right, so this is negative one equals three over five times four plus B. The four is really the X value. four over one. And would I multiply them? You would multiply the fractions, yeah. So it would be it would be negative one equals twelve divided by five. All right. And then and then you would subtract 12 fifths from both sides of the equation. So I know this looks bad, but it's it, that's what it is. It's negative one minus 12 fifths equals B. 
All right, do you remember how to write minus one as a fraction? Um, would it be over one? Over one, yeah. All right, so now, now you can make a common denominator five. You can multiply the top and bottom by, by five. All right, so this is negative five over five. Minus 12 over 5 equals B. When the bottoms are the same, you keep the bottom, but you add the top. So it's minus 17 over 5 equals B. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, we go back to this equation right here. So the three fifths X plus B and we substitute, we substitute this number in for B. Y equals three fifths X minus 17 over five, like that. So I would put in the X with the three fifths. So the, the, there's the box on the left, that's the y. Okay. On the right is the 3 fifths x minus 17 over 5. So I would take the x out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my screen again. I tried to, 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 so that you can see this. Um, the left box is just a y. Oh. The right the and equal then, signs. Yeah, the three fifths x minus seventeen over five is all on the right. Oh. So whenever you're ready, if you want to share your screen again, hopefully okay. the next one's easier than this. That, that was a pretty tough one. Uh, to start out with. Uh, not doing you any favors here. They're making these pretty challenging. There's kind of some nicer ones that you can start out with, but we are not, we're certainly not seeing those. Yeah. Okay, let me share my screen. Um, okay, so the, uh, the first thing here is that um, you start with the equation y equals mx plus b. Are they giving you the value of m in this equation? Yes. What is the value of m? Three-fifths. Three-fifths. So you start by substituting that in for B. To find B, to solve for B, you need an X and a Y. Do they give you an X and a Y? Yeah, so it'll be negative five and negative six. Yeah, yes. So negative six is the Y value. Three over five times negative five divided by one plus B. All right, so could you multiply this fraction for us and then divide out anything tell me what this comes up with you're welcome to the calculator as well for us doesn't doesn't matter to me okay. i got negative 15 over five what does that reduce to um I would divide it by five, right? Yes. Negative three over one. So just negative three. Negative six equals negative three plus B. How do you undo this negative three here? Five. How do you undo subtraction? Addition. Yes, you're going to add three to both sides. So what does B equal? What is negative six plus three? 
Negative three. This B is negative three. So that goes back into this line right here. Y equals three over five X plus, sorry, minus three. Like that. All right, so this unfortunately is the same style of problem as the last. Um, it seems like, do you normally have this much homework each week for uh, for the course? Yeah, I do. Okay, it's a little overwhelming. Mm -hmm. um, all right, well, you know, the, the, the truth is we've probably done enough that you could do more of these on your own. I mean, if you wanted to like say move to another section after this problem, you know, that's that's totally up to you. Don't feel like we have to go through all of these. But just like the previous problem, you write y equals mx plus b, and you first substitute the slope in. And then the ordered pair gives you an x and a y. And very, very important uh to um put the X and the Y in the right place. I've made this mistake before of flipping the numbers. It, it can happen here. All right, could you multiply these fractions together for us, please? Mm -hmm. Are we four over four? Yes, and what does that reduce to? One. Okay, so five equals one plus B. What is the value of B? I'm not sure. How do you how do you solve this equation? Like what how do you undo this one? Oh subtract. Yes. One. Good. So what is the value of B? equals four. Okay, and that goes back into this line here. Y equals one fourth X plus four. And then everything in the box is for the next, uh, the next one here. Okay, so first thing is, can you figure out the slope of this line? Negative four or five? Like slope, slope, slope is the rise over the run. Okay. So like how much up and then how much to the right is it going? So go, to, go the, put your, go ahead. From the point? Yes. How much up and then to the right until it hits another like nice point? Do you remember us doing this the other day? We were, we were counting. So that, that you don't have to go that far. Um, like look for another nice place where the, the, the blue line, it's the gray grid. Okay. Oh. 
two and four. So up to right four. So mm -hmm. what does that reduce to as a fraction? One over two. Okay, good. So in that box there, type in one half X, one over two X, and then we'll do the rest of it. Put that X, yeah, put that X out to the side, good. Now go back to the graph. The Y intercept is where it crosses the Y axis. Where does this cross the, the Y axis? Negative three. Yes, so put in minus three there. All right, so let's do the same thing for this one. I want you to determine the slope first. So go to that dot and put your cursor on that dot. And like to me, if you just go down one and then right one, go down one and right one, to me, you're, you're, you're on a perfect spot. At least that's what it looks like to me. What would that slope be? Um... Down one and right one. Negative one and over, one. Over, over one, good. Okay. Would it be a, a fraction? Uh, just negative one, sorry. I, I was just making sure you got the, you got the uh, down one part. Okay, minus one X, and then uh, the next number, the Y-intercept where it crosses the Y-axis. Zero and four. Zero four. Just the, just the Y-value, what's the Y-value there? Uh, four. Four. Okay, so plus four. Plus four. So I don't, what I think is it doesn't like the minus in front of the, actually, so I can't, because I'm not zoomed in. I don't think that's the right slope. That's probably the issue. I don't think if you, if you go back to the graph, it's not exactly down one, right one. Um, oh. if, you, if you scroll up, that the B value is fine. That four is fine. Go to the, go to the, put your cursor on the four, zero, four, where you, the zero oh. comma four, yeah. And then just count down to negative one. So just count down all the way down. All right, so down five. And then how many right are you going? Four. So you're down five, right four. That's minus five over, over four. Well, hang on no, before you uh oh, I'm sorry. Uh, well I was just trying to see what it what it uh what it wanted. It looked like your answer was fine. Maybe it just had to do with the way it was entered. Um okay. So this is like ones we were doing earlier. Let me grab a snip and I'll I'll set it up, but I'm gonna ask you to solve more of it this time. Okay. So be ready for that. Go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen. So you start by writing the equation of the line. You start by writing y equals mx plus b, and you put this number in for m. So it's y equals minus 1x plus b. And so I want you to put x and y in to the equation here and solve for b. Take a minute or two and see what you come up with.
All right. What is uh? Do you have something on your on your page that that looks like this? Minus or one equals minus one times five plus b. Yes. Okay. So minus one times five is minus five. How do you undo the minus five? Um, add five. Add five. So what does b become? Um, negative. Oh, wait, six. You're adding five, six, yeah. All right, so that becomes um, y equals negative one x plus six. So go ahead and try that, please. Hopefully there's no issues this time. It says it's wrong. Okay, so just try uh, try minus x plus okay. six. That may have also been the issue in the previous one. Not sure. No, well, I'm sorry. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, sorry, I I, I know I, I see what the issue is. I, I put the wrong number in here, um, and that's why that's why this isn't working. Um, it ends up being b is minus four. Yeah. So, that's minus x plus uh plus or minus four my path. Okay. Uh, why don't you try this one on your own? I, I think one of the issues is I'm uh I want to make sure I'm giving you the right answer. So let me let me have you try this one on your own and I will confirm your answer here when you're done. This time for sure. I got negative one over two x plus five. So we have a different b value, and I think it probably is that whole fraction thing. Um, let me show you my screen here, and uh, I know the last couple haven't gone the way we wanted, but the the issue here looks like did you get minus four equals minus one plus b? Yes. Okay, so you have to add one to both sides and minus four plus one is minus three. So in your box here, it's going to be minus one half X minus three. Oh, I made a mistake. I forgot to put the minus sign next to the four. 
appreciate you trying this one on your own. Um, uh, I think you're doing okay. Okay, why don't you try this one on your own? It's a lot like the last one. I will also have the answer ready for you. I got one fifth X plus one. Perfect. Really, really good. All right, good job. Um, like I said, maybe um, maybe we should move to another section or maybe you say, you know, I really need to get all these done. I, I don't know. Would that help to do a different section or do you want to keep going on these? This is the last um, assignment I have. Oh, fantastic. Then I, that, the decision is made for us. All right. Any uh, fun plans for the weekend after you're done with your math? <laughs> Not really, just staying home. All right. All right. Well, hopefully we'll get this knocked out here so you don't have anything remaining. Um, you've got to find the slope. Right, so the slope here is minus eight, minus two, minus eight, minus eight. And it becomes minus 10 over minus 16 or five over eight, like that. So now it's a lot like the previous problem. You write y equals five over eight x plus b. And then you have your choice of which ordered pair to use. Why do you think that this is a better ordered pair to use than the other one? 
five eight. No, the ordered pair. Why would eight two be better? Why is this better than this on the right? Because they're not the same number. I I would look at it as like positives. There's two positives here. That's kind of easier Oh. to work with than two negatives. So this is your X. This is your Y. Two equals five over eight times eight over one plus B. Could you tell me what this fraction reduces to? Would it just be five since So, it's so two, two equals five plus B. You can, you can do what's called pre-reduce, which is cancel out things like that. Um, is the five positive or negative? um positive? Positive. So you undo it with subtraction. B equals negative three. That goes back here. So you have Y equals five over eight X minus three. The box on the left is a Y. The box on the right is... Five eighths x minus three. Okay, do you see how these two coordinates have the same x value? Oh. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, Yes. uh, they have the same x value. So x equals, in this case, x is always, I'm not sharing my screen. I'm just talking you through this one. When they have Oh. the same x value or the same y value, it's just an x equals or a y equals. Okay. All right, so in this case, it's x equals because the x values are the same. And what is the x value in both of these? What is the x value in both of those ordered pairs? One. The x value. What What is the x value in the, each of those ordered pairs? I mean, it's got to be one of those numbers. And it's the one that's the same Oh. in both. So it will be negative a. Yes. Get it. All right. Okay. Are there uh, some other assignments available for us to work on? Uh, I don't think so. I think this is my last one. Does your teacher put out a review or is there any kind of old stuff to work on or? No. Oh, actually, I do have one more. Let me grab a snip of this. It's going to look very similar to what we just did, uh, but the the um, with a little added wrinkle. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Here we go. So uh, the first one wants a line perpendicular. That's important. You got to first decide, is it parallel or is it perpendicular? The first two lines are parallel. The second one is perpendicular. Um, what is the slope of this equation here? Y equals 2x minus 1. What is its slope? Two 2 over or 2 over 1. Now, do you remember from class how to go from the slope to the perpendicular slope? No, I don't.
So you you flip you flip the the fraction. What what's the what's the flip of the fraction? One half. Okay, and then you negate it. So if it's positive, it becomes negative. If the slope were negative, it would become, become positive, okay? okay? Now you write y equals mx plus b, but you use the, the new slope. So y equals minus 1 half x plus b. And then you have a new ordered pair here, negative 5 comma 0. What does that become? I'm sorry, uh, where, which one goes in for x, which one goes in for y? What would be 0 equals 1 half? Negative 1 half. Negative 1 half. Times, times negative 5 over 1. What does that fraction become? Mm, it would be 5, positive 5, over 2. Yep, 5 over 2. 0 equals 5 over 2 plus b. All right. And then uh, so the uh, the next thing is to undo this. So you subtract 5 over 2. And you get b equals minus 5 over 2. So that goes back into this line here. y equals minus 1 half x minus 5 over 2. This is what's going to go in the box there. All right, so basically the same thing, just different numbers here. I'm going to grab another snip. So you'll have another reference. Um, hopefully after this one, there's a parallel line one, so we can do that. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay, uh, what is the slope of the given equation? Negative four over negative one. Negative four over positive one, positive one, because the number is just written over one. So the okay. perpendicular, you you flip it, you flip the fraction, and then you negate it. So now what does this become when you reduce it? What does this be four? Uh, one, one over four, one over four, the, 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 they cancel, negatives cancel. Mm. All right, now, so we write y equals mx plus b which slope goes in for M now? Negative, I mean, one over four. One over four. So Y equals one over four X plus B. And then this ordered pair goes in for X and Y. Two equals one fourth times negative two plus B. Can you tell me what this becomes after you multiply the fractions? Negative two over four. Yeah. And what does that reduce to? Negative one and two. So negative one half. Two equals negative one half plus b. How do we how do we undo this negative one half? Can we get it to the other side? Um Flip it. 
you're undoing subtraction. What, what's the undoing of subtraction? Adding. Adding. So you're going to add one half to both sides. So on the left, it's two plus one half equals B. You have to make a common denominator here. What's the common denominator between one and two? One. So you got to go up. You got to go up. Get oh, better. You gotta, yeah, so this is, this is now going to be four over two plus one over two. So B is five over two. So that is the number that goes back, back, back into here. B is five over two. So you get Y equals one fourth X plus five over two. So just this part is what it wants in the box there. So no, hopefully you're seeing it's a lot of the same work as uh, All right, um, well, this one's a little bit different. Um, all right, let me grab a snip here. If you're ever struggling with how to graph uh, something, I would use the Desmos graphing calculator. Okay. Let me share my screen here. So X equals one, sorry, not sharing it. X equals one, do you remember if that's a vertical or a horizontal line? It will be. Is it vertical. horizontal or vertical? Vertical. Yeah, it's a vertical one through there, and then here's the point: negative two, negative one. Though if it's parallel, parallel means it can't intersect. Mm -hmm. It's also a vertical line, so it's an x equals. What's the x value of this ordered pair? Negative two. Negative two. That's your equation. All right. Um, so, yeah, this one's got a lot to do, a lot of work here. So I'll just work through this one. Um, but, uh, you know, probably want to make some more time to work on this on your own because this is may not make a ton of sense as I work through it, but that's okay. Um, we want the parallel line to this, uh, this equation here. So we have to solve for y to get the slope, right? So to solve for y, we did this a bunch the other day. You subtract 4x, subtract 4x. You have minus y equals minus 4x minus 3. Then you divide everything by negative 1. So you get y equals 4x plus 3. The slope, the slope is 4. And since we want the parallel line, our new line has a slope of four, and it goes through the point negative one comma negative two. So we write y equals four x plus b, put that in for m, and then put in negative two equals four times negative one plus b, negative two equals four plus b, add four to both sides, b equals two. This goes back in here. So your final answer is y equals 4x plus 2, like that. If that felt rushed, that's uh, OK. Um, we are running out of time, so I didn't want to make sure. I didn't want you to miss out on this question here. All right, any, uh, any other thoughts before we close out today?
Mm, no. All right.